You've probably got earthworms in your garden, but have you got any as big as this? Have a look. There he goes. What a monster. In fact, it's one of Australia's giant earthworms, but by no means as big as they get. They get much bigger than this in uh, Victoria and the Northern Territory. But he's quite sizable enough to show a few of the things that we want to about this rather surprising creature. The trouble is he's covered with muck because he's been underground, so we'll dunk him in the water and have a look at what he's doing. They don't mind a bit of water. They can cope with it quite well. The thing they don't like is sunlight. That can kill them with surprising speed. Well, there he is, a little bit the worse for wear, but you'll notice he's crawling around, and you can tell the front end because it's got a thickening just by my thumb. That's an important part of it. It's used in mating. The cocoon forms from there, and each earthworm has male and female parts. And so they can come together, and each one will produce eggs. The cocoon rolls off there, takes the eggs with them, and they lie on the ground until they're hatched. But look at the way it gets around. Without any limbs or anything, it's still able to get along with surprising agility. And to see why, we need to dunk him back in the soil for a bit and have a look at a balloon, because that's really what an earthworm is, a series of balloons all tied together. So if you look at that balloon, it's full of water, and you can't compress water. If you press on it, the press, or the bulge, goes somewhere else. So what the earthworm has is a body full of liquid, very light water, and it's got lots of muscles. It's got red muscles, or they're shown as red here. They go around the body like that, and other muscles that run from front to back. Let's take the red ones that go around the body. You can imagine if they squeeze and get shorter, the earthworm itself gets longer and thinner. But if the black ones contract, the earthworm is going to get shorter and fatter. And if the black ones contract on one side, the earthworm can turn a corner. So if we look at him crawling around there, I'll dunk him off again and you can see it. That's what the front end is doing. See, as it tries to find its way around, it goes out long and thin, then if it finds its way around, it gets short and fat and pulls the rest of the body up to it. There we go. Thin, thick. Thin, thick. You notice it's got rings all the way down the body. Each one of those is an enclosed compartment, rather like the single balloon that we're dealing with. And so it trundles around on the lawn, eating soil, passing it through the body, and ploughing your soil for you while you're asleep. <laughs>